Hello, good morning, students. We will continue the remaining exercise. So, exercise 2.2, we done the first sum. Okay, remaining sums we can work out. Question number two. Question number two. Four s square minus four s plus one. Okay, four s square minus. 4s plus 1. So same method only. Question is same only. What is the question? Find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial and verify the relation between the zeros and coefficients. Question is same. Okay. Therefore, first you find the zeros of the polynomial. So how to find out the zero of the polynomial? Let here the variable used as s. So I will write this p of s. That p of s is equal to zero. That is 4s square minus 4s plus 1 equal to zero. Okay. So as usually you know, 4 into 1, 4 coming. Find out two numbers. The product is 4 and the sum is minus. Sum is minus. Okay. Which are the numbers coming? Product 4. 4 into 1, 4. And the sum is minus 4. Which are the numbers? Minus 2. And minus 2. Minus 2 into minus 2, how much will come? Plus 4. And minus 2 minus 2, how much will come? Minus 4. So that is equal to 4s square minus 2s minus 2s plus 1 equal to 0. Okay? So from this two fact, fact is take 2s common take 2s into 2s minus 1. And here minus 1 take common outside 2s minus 1. Okay, clear? Now, 2s minus 1 here also, 2s minus 1 here also take common outside. So, 2s minus 1 into 2s minus 1 equal to 0. Okay. Therefore, each factor, by, but here we can see the factors are same. Okay, factors are same. Therefore, therefore, 2s minus 1 equal to 0, comma 2s minus 1 equal to 0. That is equal to 2s is equal to 1 and s is equal to 1 by 2. Here also 2s is equal to 1 and s is equal to 1. Okay. So these are the zeros. So alpha and beta is both same. Alpha is also 1 by 2 and beta is also 1 by 2. Okay. You got the zeros. Therefore the zeros are 1 by 2. Clear? And now we will find what is the next question. Find the sum of the zeros with the coefficients. We have had verified the coefficients. So we can see here. And first of all, we want to find out what is meant by a here. Here, a is equal to a means coefficient of x square. That means 4. And b means coefficient of s. That means minus 4. And c means coefficient of constant term. So A, B, C got. And now we can find out sum of the zeros. Sum of zeros. Sum of zeros. That means alpha plus beta. That is equal to alpha plus beta. Alpha is 1 by 2 and beta is also 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. That is equal to as 1. Half plus half 1. And now we can see the coefficients. Sum of zeros. Is equal to minus b by a. That is equal to minus of. Minus already there. Then minus 4 divided by b. 4 that is equal to. Minus 2 minus plus 4. 4 by 4 that is equal to 1. See here. Sum of the zeros in this way. Sum of the zeros. This could have find out. Both you want the same answer. Group. Both the answers are same. Therefore, we verify this. So you write, therefore, sum of zeros is equal to sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a. We verify it. Now, next the same way, product of the zeros. Listen here. Product of the zeros, you can find out product of zeros. Alpha beta is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 
that is equal to 1 by 4. Okay, now we can find out by the mother product of zeros. Alpha, beta, product of the zeros in your formula, C by A, C by A is equal. What is the value of C here? C is 1. And what is the value of A here? 4. So you got okay. See here, this method is 1, 1, 5, 1, 4, and this method also is 1, 1 by 4. Therefore, product of zeros is equal to product of zeros is equal to C by A. Product of zeros is equal to C. Clear? And this is the second sum. Okay, one or two sums we will explain. And next third question. Question number three. Take first we copy this all of you. Then take the third question. Third question for me. Can I run the board now? Third question. 6x cube x square minus 3 minus 7x. These terms are not arranged, so we have to arrange the terms. The question is same only. Find the zeros of the polynomial and then what do you want to find out? Uh, compare the zeros of the polynomial with the coefficients. Clear? So, let's p of x is equal to x6 x square minus 7x minus 3 equal to 0. I arrange the term. First x square term, then x term, then constant term arranged. So 6x square minus 7x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay. Now as usual method only. So factor is 6 into 3. How much coming? Minus 18. And find out the numbers. Their product is 18. And difference is 7. Last time minus coming. That is why I am saying here difference. Last time plus coming, we will take the sum out. And here, 6 into minus 3, minus 18 coming. Therefore, find out the number, the product is 18, minus 18, and the difference is, what are the numbers? See here, minus 10 plus 2. What is the minus 10 into minus 2? How much coming? Minus 18. Minus 10 plus 2, how much coming? Minus 7. Clear? So, we can factorize something. 6x squared minus 9x plus 2x. Minus 3 equal to 0. So, these two terms take, therefore, which is common here, 3. 3x three common. 3x common take. Here, 3x means six, three. 2 into 3 into x. So, therefore, 3x common. Here also 3x common. So, then what is here? Here, I coming to x. Minus 3. Okay, from here, 3x we are taken here. So, plus 1 into 2x minus 3 equal to 0. So, 2x minus 3 into 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. Therefore, 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 and 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. So, here 2x is equal to 3. x is equal to 3. Here, 3x is equal to minus 1. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1. So, you got the both the zeros. Which are the zeros? Alpha is equal to 3 by 2. And beta is equal to minus 1 by 2. Okay. Therefore, alpha is equal to 3 by 2. And beta is equal to minus 1 by 2. Here. Okay. Now, from this equation, we will, from this polynomial, we will write what is A. Same method only, two, three, some cell explain A. What is A here? 5 to square x square 6. And what is B here? 5 minus 7. And what is C? A is the 5 to x square and B is the 5 to of x square and C is the constant term. Therefore, so we can find out sum of zeros, sum of zeros. Alpha plus beta is equal to, okay, what is alpha? 3 by 2, 
plus minus 1 by 2, that is equal to 3 minus 1, 2, 2 by 2, that is equal to 1. Now, according to the formula, you can see sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a, that is minus, what is b? Alpha plus beta by 2. Here, listen, 3x is equal to minus 1 coming, therefore, x is equal to minus 1 by 3 coming. Therefore, our zeros are alpha is equal to 3 by 2 and alpha and beta is equal to minus 1 by 3. Therefore, sum of the zeros alpha plus beta is equal to 3 by 2 plus minus 1 by 3. Therefore, LC break 3 into 2, 6 coming, 3 into 3, 9, 2 into minus 1, minus 2, so 9 minus 2, 7 by 6. Therefore, sum of the zeros minus b by is equal to minus of minus 7 by 6, that means 7 by 6. Here also you got 7 by 6, sir. here also you got 7 by 6, sir. Therefore, sum of the zeros, sum of zeros, is equal to minus b by a. You verify that. And same way, product of the zeros. Product of zeros is equal to product of zeros is equal to 3 by 2 into minus 1 by 3. So 3, 3 we cancel it, we will get minus 1 by 2. Okay? Same way, product of zeros we will find out by Product of zeros, we will find out by the method, which one is C by A method, C by U, that is equal to C. But when you see here, minus 3, minus 3 divided by the value of A6, that is equal to minus 1 by 2. And here also product of the zeros, one by, minus 1 by 2 what? Here also product of the zeros, minus 1 by 2 what? Therefore, you verify the condition. Therefore, the product of zeros is equal to C by Okay. So now I explained and given three sums. Okay. The factorial question. Uh, first, second, and third sums explained and given. So if you need, we can able to explain the fourth sum also. Uh, sorry, sixth sum. Four and five homework. Sixth sum also you take. Question number six. Now this is the third sum. Okay, sixth sum also method is same only. There is no difference in the methods. Then, question number six. Three x square minus x minus Four. Okay. So, uh, first we have to find out the zero. For finding out the zero, so what you do? Consider P of x is equal to zero. P of x is equal to 3x square minus x minus 4. So, let's P of x is equal to zero. So, 3x square minus x minus 4 is equal to zero. Do along with me, you join the sum. So, three sums already explained and given. Now, this is the fourth sum. So, find out how to find out 3 into 4. 3 into 4, how much coming? 3 into minus 3 here and minus 4 here, minus 4. So, here last time minus coming. So, find out the number, the difference is minus 1. So, which are the minus 4 and plus 3. So, which are the numbers coming? Minus 4 plus 3 coming minus 4. Minus 4 into 3, how much coming? 12. So 3x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 3. So, okay, from this one, anything common? Only x is common. x to take outside 3x minus 4 plus 1 into 3x minus 4. Nothing common, so we are taken as 1. Then only we can write the factors. So 3x minus 4 into x plus 1 equal to 0. Okay now, so you got the two factors. Now, 
each factor is equal to three x minus four equal to zero, comma x plus one equal to zero. So three x is equal to four. Can you see? Yeah. X is equal to what? We will get a four by three. So one zero you got. Is the value of one zero? X is equal to four by three. So next is zero is x is equal to how much? Two minus. So you got both of the zeros. Alpha is equal to four by three got, and beta is equal to minus. Now same method you continue. Alpha is equal to four by three, and beta is equal to minus one. Here, what is the value of a? A is the coefficient of x square three, and what is the value of b? B is the coefficient of x that is minus one, and what is c? C is minus four. Clear? Therefore, sum of the zeros, sum of zeros, is equal to four by three plus minus one. That is equal to three by four. Four plus minus three. The same thing. Three by four. Four plus minus three. So what will become one by two? Okay. Then sum of the zeros by your method is fine. Sum of zeros. What is the formula? Minus b by a. Minus of what is b here? What is b here? Minus one. So minus one divided by what is a three? So minus of minus one 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 by. So both are very different. No? Yes. Sorry. Now next one is product of the sums. Product of sums. That is equal to four by three into minus one. That is equal to minus four by three. And product of zeros. Equal to c by a formula. Then what is c here? Minus four. Minus four. And what is a here? Three. Therefore, now c is equal to. Same minus four by three. Here also minus four by three. The meaning is that we are verified. Okay. Now next remaining portion I will explain tomorrow.